All right. I guess we'll we're gonna have to seven. move on to B7. All right, so this is my fun little thing. When you know how everybody just tells you, oh, you should probably have a wood mile lead. Oh yeah, they're definitely correct. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Um, I mean, I guess you could try with a water sign lead, but remember, you go water versus water instead of wood versus water. So I prefer having as much attacker as possible. So as you can see here, I have a double squares. Um, okay. A squares is a nat two farmable in Phantom Force. And their kit is double defense break, which I love the most. And oh, sixty percent. <laughs> yeah, sixty percent for the three star and forty percent for the five star. I mean, the five star is fine, but this many defense break, what can go wrong? Um, maybe it can slow you down because again, three star defense break. Everybody focused one Ashmon, um, mm. so sometimes it's not that great to have. But I prefer it on this uh, golem specifically, yes. um, just because of how high of a defense water um, golem has so in my theory so far water golems has the most defense right fire yes. golem has the most attack and wood golem has the most hp right. so that's my conclusion so far that's why i have so many defense break on a water golem especially with the resist down that's why mm -hmm. i have wood mile with three star defense break as well with the resist lead because water golem has petrification Petrification slows down your team. Petrification can actually cause your team to die completely because if your water sign gets petrified, then you're done. Um, especially when your um, team is low health. And my water sign is basically the ash. Your healer should always have the highest resist out of your entire team. So you do want to try to focus on resist if you can yes. on your healers. Always. This is in every general occasion. Um, dragons, golems, titans. Every single one of them. And that's why I like having a wood mile lead because of her extra resist. And I do have a max uh, resist lead, twenty percent total. So that's a whole twenty percent oh, nice. there. That's really sweet. So overall, all of these Ashmon have over sixty percent resist already, especially with conviction gems. If they're on still on the conviction gems, again, I use this exact team for Dragons B one, mm -hmm. and so I actually boosted their gems plus uh, to six star already. So I don't have their six star gems anymore. Oh, but I have to. This can farm dragons, B1 as well? Yeah, yep. Full farmable team that can farm B1 dragons so far. Oh, um, nice. Are, are you able to do it without course. without um, revives? Like. Yep. Just because I just upgraded a gem to plus uh, 6 star gems, because dragons is more of a high tier mid game, mm -hmm. where you do need better gem quality. So dragons is more of a gem quality than level quality. Um, is what I want to say so far. I haven't tested B2. I tested B2, this team failed in B2. I'm building my B3 team right now, Dragons B3 and then B4 as well. Alright, alright. I guess you can go in and test this out. Alright, just go ahead. You know, this is actually really smart. I never thought of uh, using the Wood Squirrels. <laughs> oh, Wood Squirrels are amazing, man. <laughs> I love Wood Squirrels. I know, nat I know like, people are get turned mm -hmm. off by Nat 2s, but this is one of those games where 2-star Astromod actually provides an advantage in most type of situation, mm -hmm. which is amazing for new players, in my opinion. That's why I love playing Monster Super League, because creativity, I mean, your creativity can actually make you do either stupid things or all smart things. Like, instead of scores, you can actually have a Wood Slime. A wood Slime has a reverse kit of what a Wood Scores has. 40% defense break for 3-star, 60% defense break for 5-star. Uh, for five star. Wood, score, uh, wood Slime actually has more HP, but a little bit less attack than Wood Squares. So instead of Wood Squares, you can use Wood Slimes instead. Alright, that, that's actually pretty... That's that's pretty genius, like... <laughs> I never would have thought of that. <laughs> would have completely looked past the, the squirrels. I, you know, I, I, honestly, I've never actually used any of the, the two stars. I never even considered... <laughs> They're amazing, man. Like this is what I do when I got really bored. I mean, not really bored, but I just want to provide more content for my stream if possible by just making these random thing, like random Ashmons and hell They even work. Like for this example here, this entire team here, all four star gems. Let's see here, um, from left to right by Wood Maho was built. HP, defense, attack percentage plus twelve because she's the main tank. Um, water sign was HP, 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 percentage or flat, plus 9, and my scores were actually built HP, defense, attack, plus 9, conviction set. And they were talking about 4 star jumps here as well, and yeah. that's the first time I was able to clear it. But the, the clear was pretty long, it was 5 minutes, um, but then again, that's expected because you don't have the good gems yet. 5 minutes is alright for a new player, but once you get those gems in, your runs should be significantly a little bit quicker. So, maybe this run be 
a bit faster or slower, I don't even know, actually. You know, there's actually one advantage to using the, the scrolls. I'm not sure if you built them before your B8 team on this account, or before they made the golem changes, but you can actually... I did, actually. Um, like, you know, if you if you are capturing two stars, you can actually catch quite a few of them, and you can try to get a scroll with, like, triple square. Exactly. And then you can use your B8 gems, which are all square, on the scrolls. That is a, that is a possibility, yes. I actually built them towards Diamond because it was before the patch. I made this account before the patch. Um, All right. So I did build two scores that has at least two Diamond slots on it. Mm -hmm. I was already farming Golems before the patch came. So, so B7, I was already farming. B8, I was actually the, I was actually skipping B8 to build B9 first. The, the old meta was yes. B7, B9, B8. Now it's yes. B8, B7, B9, or B8, B9, B7. doesn't really matter mm -hmm. um, between the two. So, this is yeah, actually, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> Everybody gets sapped because I have no resist on them. Because <laughs> I changed them to 6 star jump, but you know what, they don't care, they have 6 star jumps on them. Plus 12. Yeah, I think at this point, um, for the scrolls, you can definitely expect to have 6 star gems on them. Especially, you know, since they're 2 stars, it's pretty easy to farm, so like, getting triple square isn't too hard. Mm, so I just did a 3 minute run there, but that's with like 6 star gems definitely. Yeah, it's not that hard really. I wouldn't say so at least. So far, it, the guide has been extremely, it's a huge success for most of the players out there and most of my viewers already. Like, you, if you're following the guide step by step, right, mm -hmm. you should be able to get to B7, or, well, last time, you should be able to get B8 now in at least one week if you're doing it step by step, back to back, continuously farming, you should be able to do B8 in, in around one week, all right? For the yes. B7 guide, it used to be two weeks. Right. And then oh, there's yeah. people that's that's already been doing like there's already people um, one month and a half in they're already able to farm all B7 to B9 and already starting on B10 stuff like that. So that's good so far. I'm actually proud of doing that. So there's actually also a chance of it being faster because um, you could always summon some like really strong monsters that can like carry exactly. you through. Oh, definitely.